All right, big news coming in. India test fires missiles assisted torpedo. Supersonic missile torpedo tested at Odisha coast. Lightweight, super accurate and deadly Desi arsenal. Designed and developed by DRDO in India. A mega boost there indeed to Navy's anti-submarine warfare. DRDO today has successfully flight tested supersonic missile assisted release of torpedo SMART from Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam Island off the coast of Odisha. You have images coming in, designed and developed by the DRTO in India. Let me quickly cut across. Three, two, one, now. All right, we have Shiv Arul joining us on the phone line. Shiv, please go on, give us more on India test firing missiles smart. Uh, this is a uh, uh, Nabila. This is a very important uh, weapons test that's just taken place. Now, uh, what you're looking at, these visuals of the smart being fired, it's actually a hybrid weapon that combines a missile and a torpedo. Uh, this basically uh, is a twin weapon where uh, a supersonic missile carries a anti-submarine or an anti-ship torpedo uh, out to distance of about 650 kilometers out to sea from land Three, and then two, releases a torpedo into one, the water no. and then the torpedo Plus completes one. the rest of the Plus task two. and hits either the enemy uh, ship or submarine. So uh, that's what this weapon is that's been tested. It has been tested once before in 2022 if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I hear there have been other tests as well before that. But what this basically gives Three, the user, which two, will be the Indian Navy one, at some point of time, no. uh, is a one, very long distance, uh, uh, you know, ability to uh, to target either enemy ships or submarines. Usually, when you know, uh, when we're talking about anti-ship or anti-submarine warfare, uh, we're talking about uh, not very long distances. Uh, you know, uh, submarines are usually Three, destroyed by two, ships or aircraft one, which are in the area. Uh, but here you have a capability where if a ship at sea is able to detect a submarine but requires a long distance uh, attack on that submarine, uh, this kind of weapon can actually be used to do that. And the numbers we're talking about are huge numbers. 650 kilometer range of that missile carrying a torpedo to hit a submarine out at sea means uh, uh, you've got the flexibility uh, to, to deny, uh, uh, you know, uh, sea access to enemy submarines over a large area of ocean. So this is something that's very important. Uh, and for a country that has had trouble as far as uh, Chinese submarines Three, interfering in the two, Indian Ocean region, one, uh, this no. kind of a weapon will be that's a very, very big uh, sort of force multiplier for the Indian Navy and for Indian maritime security. Right, we're seeing the visuals coming in from the Abdul Kalam Center in Odisha. It's all made in India by the DRDO. What does, what does that speak of uh, made in India mechanism within the defense sector, Shiv? Uh, well, uh, you know, as far as missiles are concerned, even though uh, India continues to have the dubious distinction of being one of the largest importers of weapons, Nabila, as far as missiles go, we are still, uh, you know, hugely self-reliant, especially in the... Uh, in the realm of ballistic missiles, uh, now in you know in terms of hybrid missiles of the kind that we're seeing right now, uh, self alliance has always been a uh, you know a prerogative and a, and a sort of imperative for the program, and that's the reason why uh, you know, the made in India aspect of this particular weapon is not only a source of pride. Uh, but it's also something that Three, has uh, been a two, defining characteristic one, of the no. track record of our missile Plus program. One. Because Plus this two. is technology, Plus remember, three. that no country will share with you, not even a country like Russia, uh, you know, will actually share with you. And that's the reason why India has had to develop uh, such weapons themselves. I should also point out that the smart that's being tested today is, uh, three, you know, is a very unique two, weapon. There are very one, few countries that no. have the ability to Plus combine, uh, you know, two different weapon capabilities uh, to provide the kind of, uh, you know, targeting effect that this weapon does. Like I said, you're using an existing uh, missile technology to basically, uh, you know, deliver a torpedo to an extremely long range of about 650 kilometers, drop it into the water, and then the torpedo, you know, travels a further 20, 25 kilometers to hit either an enemy ship or a submarine. Uh, you know, developing each of these weapons separately is challenging enough to combine them and successfully be able to, uh, you know, demonstrate its ability at sea is, is, a, is an enormously challenging task. And I think, uh, uh, you know, uh, one must really take our hats off to the DRDO because this has been an extremely um, uh, ambitious weapon system. There have been many naysayers who said 
you know, this kind of thing can't really happen. But they've, they've demonstrated it not once but twice. And I imagine there will be more such tests, Nabila, before the weapon one, is declared uh, ready for induction into one, operational service. Right. Thanks very much, Shiv. This is certainly uh, to enhance the anti-submarine warfare capability of the Indian Navy. I'm going to take you through that audio coming in right when this was tested a little earlier today. Three, two, one, now. Plus one, plus two, plus three.